this is going to be a quick uh, Megex tutorial video showing you how to render page titles from resource lists in a Megex template variable. Uh, it's also going to show you to use the Megex GUI um, as a lot of people are still putting in raw JSON values into the template variable. So the use case for this is uh, working on the website at the moment. We've got this related um, thing that we need to put in. Um, we don't want to use uh, PDO resources or get resources or anything. This needs to be individual on a per project basis. So um, let's go ahead and make our template variable. And we'll just simply call it uh, related. We'll put it in a category just to make it easy. Input options will select uh, MIGX. And instead of putting in the uh, JSON values down here and here, we're going to put in a configuration here. Give it access and save. So over to MIGX now. And all we simply do is click on MIGX at the top and click Add Item. And by putting in the name in there and there, we're binding that to the template variable. So whatever we configure here, we'll get bound to that template variable and then passed through into the template. So it allows us to do things a lot easier. Um, add related product. And from here, we can make our form tab. So let's just go underneath here. Um, let's create an input field. We'll say this is the ID. give it a type of resource list. Now again you could put raw JSON config into there. Um, you could make another template variable with uh, you know locked parents and other such things and you could put the name of it in there but all we're going to do for this is just have a blanket resource list type. And we'll click done. Done again. If we now go to columns we we'll just add this in. Okay, now if we go over to the uh, 2A product, what we'll now see is we'll now see the, uh, the grid correctly there. And if we add a related product, we've got our resource list and we can select uh, you know, our products and add them in. But what we see is we see that what it's doing is it's rendering the ID. So if we just go in and add another one, let's just say another good one for measure. So this is outputting exactly what ModX does. This is what the template variable type does. It outputs it as an ID. So this isn't really of any use to, um, well, anybody really. It doesn't really give you any descriptions. Uh, it doesn't obviously give you the page name. So let's try and make this render the page title. So the easiest way to do this is if you just pop over to your extras and installers and download fast field. Now fast field um, basically allows you to grab a resources um, properties such as page title which is what we're going for here um, in a really really easy to use syntax and we're going to utilize that in our MIGX view so if we now pop back to MIGX and we go back to our configuration and edit it we will pop over to our columns and what we'll do now is we're going to add a new one so let's just add another one here we'll call this uh, resource title um, we can give this any old name so um, let's just say for example render title or something like that give it a width of 100 now this is where it starts to get a bit interesting so if we go over to render we need to select this render chunk down there and if we now scroll down we've got this template over here now what we need to do here is we need to use the fast field syntax to be able to pull through the page title so that it renders it on the view. And this is done simply with the two open embraces and a hash. Now we're going to put in the name of the field which we're pulling through from MIGX. So this is what ID. We're going to separate with a dot and we're going to tell it what field we want to grab, which is page title. So the key part here is this. 
this is what's being pulled through by MIGX. has absolutely no relevance to the ID of the page that you're pulling through. It's the ID of the field that's being pulled through. Just click done. So you can see here we've named this field as ID. That is named ID under our tab. So it all starts here. Name ID there is allocated to ID, and that's what you use in your template when you're rendering this out to the front end. We're then rendering this through to ID here, and we're then telling this to pull that ID field through in our render chunk. So let's just have a quick little look now at how that looks when we load the page up. There we go. It's now rendering the page titles, but we've still obviously got these IDs here. So let's just quickly jump over to MIGX and we can tell this to not render in the row. Columns, right click, edit, showing grid, no. Let's just pop back. And there we go. So it instantly makes it much, much more usable for end users to be able to use this. Hope you found this useful. Any other little MIGX tips or anything to do with ModX, then give us a shout. Uh, follow us on our Facebook page, um, facebook.com forward slash gel studios, or send us an email. Thank you.